What's up guys? I really love how this thing works. It works perfectly. Awesome. Pretty much awesome. Some solar power is getting generated. That's this one. For today we already have like 32 kilowatt hours. Uh, right now it's half past one and still sunny yeah something is exported to the grid something is used for own consumption uh, you may wonder what this thing about is uh, minus 20 watt that's the micro inverter input because I have I have the wind turbine going into it has the grid tie inverter so you can supply into that micro inverter input any grid tie inverter or micro inverter so that's actually my setup currently it stopped because there is no wind yeah as you may see right now it's like uh, 0 0.7 meters per second so obviously it's not enough for start but in any case we have a lot of solar you know Batteries are capped at 100% because at this moment I tend to leave them fully charged in case anything happens because in winter, you know, there might be power outages mainly. And just to show you what the device is, it's Deia 10 kilowatt three phase inverter. It's a good one. It's working almost seamlessly. Uh, about the noise, yeah, it's it's a little bit noisy because, well, the main thing, it has an active cooling. You see, over here, there are ventilators. Not only the radiator itself, not only the like the, the, the these things, but down there it has the ventilators that start once the temperature rises a little bit too high. But so far it can withstand really, really heavy loads. And yeah, let me show you one very interesting feature. This is something that no one else aside of Deye and uh, what's the other name? Same factory, but different brand names. In Europe it's sold also as SunSync inverter. So take a look. You see, phase one is using 500 watts, 510. Phase 2 is using 900 and phase 3 is using 800 and for, uh, 840. Okay. So, yeah, not, not that big difference. It's actually nothing. But, yeah, believe me, it can handle way more. It can handle up to 5, 6 kilowatt difference between phases without any trouble. I've done the tests about this. But, yeah, it's not this that I'm going to show you. If I will click here and if we will check this data what's so interesting about it so take a look currently at this this is the output in minus because currently we are selling and uh, the thing is that we are selling in very similar uh, like plus minus one two three watts uh, between the phases so it actually uh, corrects the phases output and once there will be no sun and you will be only taking everything from the grid it will actually do the same it will have the asynchronous phase fitting thing it lives in the advanced function and here is this absolutely perfect and no other inverter known to me actually has the thing aside of as i said only Deia and sunsync so that's a thing to consider if you have not really good grid or if you have really uh, a strict demand uh, from your power supplier to have the like really neatly done uh, the, the, I mean the, the supply between between phases that's something you should consider so that would be it let me know if you would want more information about this inverter and how it actually works and what kind of stuff can it do because I really like it Moreover, I have 20 kilowatt of solar inverter, which is like a normal grid inverter. And with the use of these switches, I can actually, uh, with switching this down and this down, I can supply onto this uh, 
green microinverter input, I can supply the whole 20 kilowatts more of solar in case I am going off grid completely because if the power gets down and I have a lot of sun, I can use it. It will not be standing still. That's something that none other inverter has. This is the feature that is allowed by this. You see it on the right, GAN. It's a GAN port. It can work in three options. It can work in, um, oh, let me show you actually. If you, I go here and click on GAN port use, you will see the three options. It can use be used as the generator input. It can be used as a smart load output where you can all the excess solar, if you are not allowed to sell to the grid, for example, you can uh, use all this excess solar to actually be exported to your uh, water heating tank, for example. In my case, I'm using the microinverter input and I'm uh, actually uh, prohibiting it to export uh, to the grid because I'm not allowed to sell the wind energy to the grid in my case. But yeah, in general, that's it. That's how it works. Let me know if you are interested in more content of this inverter and I can supply you because I have a lot of information already for some eight months of use of it and I really like it. Okay, see you.